So here we are in another channel first. The entire operation moved to Osaka, and with little room for sanity in the suitcase. But so what? Unless we're James Bond in Japan, we only live once. So to Japan's second largest city it is, for my first ever Osaka sumo experience. I warmed up on Sunday with a visit to Kashiwa Juniors, they'll be coming to the channel soon. Then Monday it was off to my favourite pub, run by the parents of this ex-Kashiwa Junior, Koto Shoho. Back in Division 1 after a year away, and seeking a second win today. But that was the face of a straight-A student knowing precisely why he'd lost. Caught too high in the final attack. Elbow ripe for pinning. Enemy arms let through. For Yu Takayama, three opening wins for the first time since 2019. Having worked in Tokyo this morning, I could only join the action late. Of course, saluting Fuji in the midday sun. And I actually felt compensated for my lateness, for the action I saw was crammed with good bouts. You should know. And there were two concerning moments, were there not? First, a local favourite, Terutsuyoshi. who seemed to pull or tear his right bicep. And second, the student of this man, Ishiura. No word I'm afraid on precisely what he injured, all we know is that he walked away. I shan't expect things to be easy this time. Social distancing has ended for the upper tier, meaning it will get crowded on occasion. I will shoot as much as I can, completing the job with still shots if videos prove difficult. Dealing with the new climate is a vital skill to gain. The rickety stands also wobble when any person walks, so wish me luck on that. Right, Taka Keisho, tipped by NHK's Mainomi for the title, faced a man to whom he'd never lost, but who's rapidly gaining strength. <laughs> and belief. Horshoryu trusts his right to do just about anything on the turn, and having hooked the Ozeki's armpit, he can't resist. The locals are with Hyogo-born Takakesho, but they fear the worst, which is then confirmed by the chief judge. The Ozeki went down sooner by a whisker, and is no closer to saving rank. Horshoryu, meanwhile, is buoyed saying, I'm not stopping at Komusubi, my sights are on the very top. 
Now I weigh more. They can't push me around so much, can they? Now, might this be Sumo's highest profile case of long COVID? Shodai insists his conditioning is way off pace, even compared to the many other wrestlers infected last month. Two defeats from two heading into this one against a man who'd beaten him nine times in eleven. Make that 10 from 12, with Shordai visibly giving up. There, when his last glimmer of belief he can drive without a left fades. In that moment, he's the kid struggling with growth spurts and techniques all over again. His coach screaming, Do something! Anything! Nothing to lose! Five more defeats, and he will lose Orzeki, which might be a blessing in disguise. Thank goodness then for the third Ozeki, the neutral's saviour. Hotly applauded Mitake Umi had begun well and today hunted a sixth straight win over thrusting menace Dai Esho. Osaka and Japan expected. And Mitake delivered, reaching well for the belt, reeling in by the cords, shoving down with the right, whose power he claims to have opt through Pilates. The Grand Champion did not look good yesterday, did he? Bearing out his master's pre-meet warnings. So what of that right foot today? And how low on his wish list must this have been? Uda with a home crowd. The referee gave it to Uda, deeming Teron Fuji to have overstepped. The partisan local behind me clearly agreed, but would the judges concur? Ah. And the replay shows the Osakans heel go first, extending his 56 month wait for a gold star. Deflation in the crowd and in the ring, as the top referee laments another tough call gone wrong. For the record, he's not a local. No special game plans for the Yokozuna, Udo maintained. Just focusing on my own moves as normal and mentally nothing's changed despite three defeats. Mmm, I think a bit of kindness slipped out at the end, the Yokozuna confessed. I was easily winning and could have just come down on top of him, but chose to step forward. Sumo chairman Hakkaku, though, speaking to Nikkan Sports, said, I think he's rather protecting that right leg. With his injuries, he can't risk weighing it down. Thus ended my first day in Osaka in eight years, a quite magical one at that. To my delight, I'll be in the arena for longer tomorrow to bring you lower divisions as well. Maybe the novelty will wear off. And what I see about town I shall share with you too. See you then.